So we're going to kind of go over this real quick. So the main goal with this is, is that we're going to, we're going to increase our, our body. We're going to increase our mind. We're going to increase the capabilities of what we can do. And part of being a smart rider is actually increasing those capabilities because we want to be situationally aware, maintaining our skills, acquiring gear, rescuing and teaching. That takes a lot of cognitive power and it takes a lot of effort, a lot of learning. So in order to actually be better at learning, be better at, at doing what we do, we need to have a good physical health, good mental health, and good spiritual health. For me, spiritual is going to be that community aspect. You know, teaching is spiritual to me. I, I absolutely love seeing the, the increase in other people, uh, the growth in other people, and I like having some type of tangible uh, uh, effect on people. I like to, to tell people they're doing a great job while they're actually doing a freaking great job. So the main thing here is that we're going to be working on our exercise. Okay. We do have a link right here. This is going to be, uh, to the smart rider, MTC rider Academy, um, smart rider, MTC, the smart rider tips, MTC rider Academy. This is going to be uh, a link. These are the, all the articles right here. So this is a great article. Your physical is your best or your physical body is your best tool. And so that's where this link kind of goes out. And this is why we have the, uh, the newsletter, but basically is exercise. You need to exercise. So go get, get yourself a routine, get your, waking up in the morning, uh, doing what you have to do. If you working out is the first thing you want to do, do the same, do the workout. The first thing, Mark Bark, thank you so much for the $5. Appreciate it. But get yourself moving, get yourself going. I, for me personally, I like to go for a walk. I have a routine of taking my dog for a walk so she can go to the bot, uh, body, she can go potty, go to the bathroom. Uh, but I also get, you know, I, I start looking at my to-do list. I start paying attention to what I need to do. And then I work out sometimes. I make sure I have a routine and we have the Smart Rider Fitness that I'm currently developing for the MTC Rider Academy. Easy stuff, something you could get going, get moving, and it's going to be progressive over 12 weeks. But get yourself moving. Okay, get that blood flow going. You actually change your brain, change the prefrontal cortex of your body by actually moving your body. Okay, you actually you change some things about it. You change the endorphin levels. You change. It, you just start feeling better. So to be more driven, more focused, exercise your body. Get that stuff out of your brain, out of your body. The nervous system can start to relax so you can actually start to learn and be educated. Yoga in the mornings is great. I heard yoga is just as just as good as like antidepressant. I'm not a doctor, but I heard that it actually has a really good effect on your body, just like uh, prescription antidepressants and like Xanax and, and everything. So yoga is really good. So education, you know, if you feel stuck, you know, you're kind of stuck in your job, you're kind of stuck in like, you know, day-to-day -day stuff. And you're like, man, I'm just not learning anything. I'm just constantly watching TV, watching trash stuff and, you know, just uh, not really learning much. Uh, go out there and get some education. It doesn't mean you have to get a formal education. For me personally, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I listen to a lot of podcasts about leadership and about, about learning how to learn. Um, the Art of Learning is a great book. I listen to audiobooks all the time. I'm just constantly doing it. So on my walks in the morning, I like to make sure I do multiple things at the same time, really utilize the time I have. So I'm going for a walk, getting my exercise. I'm listening to an audiobook while doing that. I'm also taking my dog out to go to the bathroom while I'm doing that. I'm also getting her exercise. I'm letting her sniff around. So she's getting that, that feeling of like, you know, exploring, exploring everything and, and, and feeling good. That's what dogs need. Okay. So me, I'm, I'm also grounding myself, you know, feeling the earth, feeling the wind and, and feeling the heat, feeling the cold, whatever it is. So just on a walk, I'm getting these two things done. These two things done. I'm getting my education, and at the same time, I'm, I'm getting active. I'm active here. So right here, I, I put this in here. So five ways of well-being, connect with other people. It's very important to connect with other people. We're very social animals. Um, being solitary can feel good, but it's only because it's comfortable. And you can get to a point where it's just so comfortable that even going outside, it gets harder. So you get better at what you practice. You get better at what you do all the time. If you're sitting inside doing nothing, you're going to get better at it. If you, if you go out and try to talk to the QT employee uh, while you're getting your energy drinks and you just have a, a really quick 30-second conversation asking how their day is, you're practicing. You're practicing connecting with other people. You want to keep learning, constantly improve your brain, constantly improve everything, okay? You're going to rediscover uh, old interests. You're going to build confidence because you actually achieve something. It's very important. So learning how to do the Smart Writer drills is very, very good. So we have the uh, Smart Writer drill booklet right here. Practice it. We've got 20 plus drills in there. Uh, take notice, you know, catch sight of the beautiful. So I actually like to go walk in the evenings too, and I... Uh, Look at the sunset. It's amazing, the sunset. That could be your last sunset you've ever seen. 
you know, taking that beauty, taking that beauty. We, we get to witness this. We, we're, on, we're on earth billions of years before us and billions and trillions of years ahead of us. And we're only going to be here for maybe 100 years. Enjoy it. You only get so many. You only get so many. Be active. Walk, run, dance, play, all these things. Just have fun. Uh, I have a, I met a new friend uh, where I live and, and she goes out and she does the, I think it's called kickball, but it's like those big inflatable things that they put on each other and they run at each other and try to kick a ball and play soccer. That sounds fun. You're meeting new people. It's great. And then giving. So part of the smart writer principle is teaching and mentoring. That is really giving. You're, we're teaching and mentoring and teach and, and giving our knowledge to the next generation of motorcycle riders. It's a great thing to do. Discipline. Now, this is where it gets still difficult because motivation, it only gets you so far. You could be motivated one day, not motivated the next. The days you're not motivated, it's difficult. Make yourself do it. So uh, I just had a therapy appointment uh, yesterday, and one of the things is, you know, it, everything is a step. You, don't, you can choose to take the next step, or you can choose to stop at that step. And so for her, what she told me was, you know, there's days where if you don't want to get out of bed, just take the next step of getting your leg out of the bed while you're still laying in bed. And then from there, you can choose to keep that leg out of bed or pull it back in, or you could choose to put the next leg out. And so just take those small steps, and it's going to be difficult. It might be. Your alarm, you could choose to silence it, or you could choose to just get up and go. So you have to choose. You get a choice, and that's an amazing thing for, for humans and, and for yourself, is that it, to build up your own self-reliance, self-resilience, and confidence you actually get a choice. Nobody's making you do nothing. You can actually like or subscribe or not. You can, you can join the MTC Rider Academy or not. It's your choice. It's up to you. But make that choice. Own it. Remember, awareness, action, accountability. Be aware of the problem. Be aware of what you're doing. Take action. Or don't. But be accountable for it. You can't blame anybody if you don't do something. It's you. And the cool thing is you could take accountability for the actions you did take and then you, the successes you took or that you got. You, can, you are able to own that. You own every action you take. So if you do something bad, own it. You do something good, own it and love it. And that's how you become a, a really self-reliant, focused and driven individual. So really, thank you so much, Nathan. Great, great article from the MTC Rider Academy instructor. This, is, this actually went out on Tuesday because I was a little bit late. I was supposed to go out on Monday. But every week we have a new newsletter. So join up, sign up, click the link in the description. You get three months free, three months free if you use code writing smart at checkout for the three month where it goes every three months.